Hey guys, Adam here. Today we're going to talk about how to create uh, two side-by-side -side buttons in your hero section using generate blocks. I'm going to show you an example. Uh, here we're looking at the website for Asana project management software and oftentimes you'll see in hero sections two different buttons side by side much like this. Uh, we can also look at another website, Perf Matters, a performance plugin, and again you see two side by side buttons centered here in the middle. Now what I'm going to show you is how to do this with generate blocks quickly and easily so that it looks good on desktop and mobile. Let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a sample mockup page and in this hero section is where we're going to be taking a look at creating that side-by-side -side button effect that I showed you in the past examples. So first we're going to jump in and go to the back-end editor. Now keep in mind this is using generate blocks and so in generate blocks there's a button wrapper and then an individual button setting itself. And what we're going to do is, inside that wrapper, click the plus sign. Inside that plus sign, it's going to automatically duplicate that same button for you. But what we're going to do is create a little bit of different style button so that it's not two conflicting buttons of the same uh, style design right next to each other. And so, Generate Blocks obviously makes it really easy already out of the box once you hit plus. Um, but first off, we don't want to have the background color on this one. So I'm going to go to the background on that button and hit clear. And I'm going to change the text to say contact us just to change it up. And now the background, as you see when we hovered, it automatically changes to white on a hover. So we're going to clear out that hover as well. Uh, we just want a plain text link instead of a full box button. Now the text on hover, I'm going to change that to more of a teal to match uh, some of the other blues on the website. Looks like we can tweak that a little bit more. That looks pretty close. So now you see we've eliminated the background colors and changed the hover color. Uh, now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of extra padding between it and the button on the left. So what we're going to do is go to margin and go on left margin. Let's add another 14 pixels of margin there just to give a little bit of, little, little bit of breathing room. And what we're going to do to spruce this up a little bit is add a additional icon after the font in there. So I'm going to choose the right arrow. Uh, I like the look of that as a secondary link next to a larger button. Uh, and automatically you see it's reverts to the right. You do have the option to change this left or right. Uh, I always prefer the right side. It just kind of goes well. Uh, personal preference. And that's about it. So what we're going to do is double check the look on this on tablet and mobile. So uh, when you come to the top here in the generate blocks settings, click on tablet and we'll see that size is down pretty great. It looks good. It doesn't uh, go on to the next line. Now we're going to go to mobile. And again, that stacks actually pretty decent uh, because schedule consultation is pretty long. Uh, in this scenario, we don't really have the option to make this small enough to make them side by side. Um, but for this demo, I'm going to show you if we change this to a smaller CTA, if we said about AWD. <clears throat> and instead of having these two small buttons stacked side by side like that, I'd really prefer them to be, or excuse me, top and bottom, I'd really prefer them to be side by side. So what we're going to do here is within this button, while still in the mobile view, we're going to lower the font size a little bit to, let's say, 15. And then click the contact one. Let's do the same down to 15. And let's take away the left margin on the mobile end of the contact us button that we added. 
looks like uh, we need to come up to the container here. So if we come to the container, we see now actually there's 40 padding uh, pixels on either side in this container. So if we drop this down to 20 and 20, that helps us out. So now our buttons are side by side. Uh, we can even come back in here into the button wrapper. Make sure to set that to center. We want those buttons to be aligned perfectly in the middle. Um, and it looks like if we really want this center because it still is appearing to be towards the left, uh, we can go ahead and eliminate the padding on the contact as the padding on the right, uh, since we really don't need that as it's not a, a solid button. We put that zero, uh, that centers it up, looks a lot better, looks nice and clean, uh, and that's the look we were going for. Now, if you wanted that padding to still be 40, uh, within your hero section, you can come up in this text block and set an additional 20 uh, on either side of your text there, as well as the headline. Just to keep that consistency uh, on the edges the same. Okay, so if we go ahead and hit update, come back to our page, hit refresh, and there we go. We have two... Uh, Pretty nice looking side-by-side -side buttons. And if we jump into Customizer to view the tablet and mobile version, click tablet, looks good. Mobile, perfect, side-by-side. -side. So there you have it. Uh, that's how you can create side-by-side -side buttons using Generate Blocks and making some additional tweaks so that it looks good on mobile as well. Thanks for watching.